Hello YouTube, this is Chris and this video is about these doggone house parties and parties in general with young people. Um, first of all, I do want to say my condolences go out to Bobby Tillman's family and through the Facebook grapevine I find out that I went to high school or even graduated with his uncle um, so my condolences go out to his uncle also he played in a band in a marching band at Palisades High School um, anyway I remember when my sister was 16 years old and my mom gave her a sweet 16 my mom rented a hall and on every single one of those um, invitations my mom sent out a list of things you could wear things you could not wear and my mom had me at the door <laughs> like basically checking people out her my mom my sister's dad was there and he was checking people out my mom was there and she was checking people out nobody was getting in that party unless they looked appropriate girls had to wear um church attire or after five attire boys had to wear church attire or suits and I even had to go and get me an after five dress. My mom served food. There was music. There was dancing. The party was went off without a hitch. Some people got mad because they thought they could come with tennis shoes and jeans. And they were turned away. So, I mean, this little boy lost his life. And it wasn't because of the dress code. It was because of these idiots who stomped him out for no damn reason and not only that the people who were at the party that just had no um, they had no respect for another person's life to try to pull the people off of him because in the end when I just saw the newspaper yesterday which was Sunday um, the 14th of November 2010 in the AJC the coroner said that this young man, Bobby Tillman, died from a lacerated heart, which means they stumped him so bad that it actually tore a part of his heart. And that is why he died. Young people, people who are not that young, you need to get it together because it doesn't take all that to have fun. And all this bullying people, that's a thing out here in Atlanta I'm seeing or Georgia period what the hell is that all about you know I've had to deal with bullying because people used to bully my son but we were we a police officer uh, family so we run to the police cuz uh, yo yo child's gonna get their ass uh, arrested I don't give a fuck you don't I mean what's the point of you bullying my son because he has the more up-to-date stuff or because he has um, things and because he's big and he's not going to hit you because there has been a time where my son has reacted and he choked somebody till they turned blue just because the person kept on bullying him and he just turned around you know he wasn't taking it no more that day so I'm telling you, you know, you, you people who are bullying people, you don't even know somebody that you're bullying might be a person that could whoop your ass. You should leave people alone, people who are bullying, and the parents of people who are bullies, shame on you because you probably are a fucking bully yourself, and that's why your child is a damn bully. Um, I just feel sad that this boy lost his life, and now I'm hearing that some man had a party at his house in Conyers, Georgia, and he was having a party, like a, basically a rent party, but it was for his mortgage, and three people got shot, and one person is dead. Now, and these are grown folks. What the hell is wrong with you guys out here? I mean, we have, my sister has house things at her house all the time. My other sister has things at her house all the time, and, but I guess it's because mostly everybody's from California, and 
most everybody went to the same schools and stuff and so we just know each other maybe that is why everybody acts appropriately i don't know i mean we play cards dominoes they drink um and everything and nothing happens uh i went to la for our family reunion nothing happened it was a like, over 50 people at my aunt's house um, some people brought people some family members brought people that were outside of the family we had music they was they were drinking uh, we were playing cards and dominoes watching videos all kind of things was happening from the front door all the way to the back door through the gazebo through the little rec room my aunt has they were playing pool nobody had a fight nothing broke out um i don't understand because life is not that serious that you have to like have fights at parties <coughs> <coughs> this is not the 80s this is not the 80s and i do realize that most things in atlanta are like 20 years behind of what i'm used to as because i'm from la but really come on now i know you guys saw the biggie tupac thing come on it really is it's really played out right now that's my video um like once again i will say i am sorry that bobby tillman lost his life an innocent bystander that was just trying to walk out this little boy was a proper young man um his mom said that he would always check in and he had a curfew of two o'clock in the morning who who does that I mean that was so great that means his mom really trusted him to give him a two o'clock in the morning curfew at that age that was great um I just feel bad that the man lost his life he lost his life he won't be able to you know graduate or go on to other great things and so I my condolences once again go out to his mom and to the guy that graduated with me class of 85 Pal Pacific Palisades High School um, so you know tell me what you think please rate subscribe and comment what do you think about this whole thing that happened and now there's another guy who had a party a mortgage party in um, Conyers Georgia and three people were shot and now one person has died Tell me what you think. All right, YouTube. This is Amaya's grandma. Bye-bye.